2011 Super Aeronautique 230 Team Edition. Victory Red uh, main, hull, bottom, and accent with the Silver Cloud accent stripe. You can see on the back right corner we have the freshwater flush out. Uh, what you cannot see is the underwater lights that we have on it. It's optioned with brown sea deck interior that's sitting on the platform as well. Uh, drip mold black super aeronautique uh, decals on the side with the griffin decal swivel board racks four tower speakers with two of them being swivel board racks we have the full throttle package on it which gets you a chrome header or stainless steel header on the windshield premium oversized mirror dock docking lights comes on a tandem axle victory red boatmate trailer and 35% window tint. We also have a bimini on the, a tower mounted bimini. Absolutely gorgeous 230. We're gonna take a look on the interior. Uh, look at all the interior options and watch the running video of this 2011 230. All right, now to the interior of the uh, Victory Red 2011 230. We, like I said on the walk around, we have the, uh, faux teak or the brown non-skid sea deck which you're going to kind of notice and it might be a little bit harder in the sun to tell but we have a couple of different colors of the actual brown and that's just because we've had some replacement pieces um, uh, put in uh, so this one is really really light right here and that where the uh, griffin is actually uh, jetted into the sea deck that's a darker piece and when you watch the parking lot video you can see a bigger difference out of that and then if I scroll up it's hard to tell but this piece right here and that piece are different that front piece was actually replaced uh, and that's original piece right there uh, out in the Sun it's a hard thing to tell probably don't notice a bunch uh, when you're sitting in <laughs> in a showroom you can definitely notice it a lot more <clears throat> I'll try and point out some of the defects in it the uh, the parking lot video is the one that you're gonna get the most out of it but you can kind of see right here a little bit of uh, discoloration in the red um, we've got that in a couple spots I'll try and point them out uh, but on both sides both rear hatches you've got that kind of got that going on that Sun helps me out a little bit to focus on that drop down in one thing you're going to notice is we have the uh, rear bench actually optioned in on this boat swivel board racks and then you have your four tower speakers and your interior speakers here actually swivel and they do a full 360 so you can go all the way around put some music basically wherever you want to put it and you've got your bimini i'm gonna pop the engine hatch real quick got a good little current today so i'm probably gonna have to fire this thing up and get it out of the way you're gonna see over here we have the uh covers and everything on the starboard side, you can see that we have the upgraded ballast system going on. Those are 1,100 pound bags, so they are they are big. And to power the the upgraded stair, uh, ballast system, we have the PCM ZR450. It is a high output six liter, uh, 450 horsepower. Those are also accessible from the walkthrough. Great storage, pick up right there. There's a little bit more of that discoloration right through here, it's kind of hard. Parking lot video shows all this stuff. On the starboard side, you have your igloo cooler hidden away underneath the bench. It's a fantastic place, uh, very, very accessible. Flip up. storage underneath on that other side. Get your 10 inch sub. You have six interior speakers behind in the cockpit area. So there's one right there. You have your 10 inch sub and you have that one right there. That one right there on the port side and then rear port on there. And then we have two in the nose. On the port and starboard side you have one each. Four pop-up cleats. You have your air dam, which locks away. 
locks into place. <clears throat> Come over to the driver's seat. You have your instrument panel, the link screen. Um, you can see it's dark right now. I have the, I have the uh, uh, courtesy lights on, so I have the docking lights on. I turn that off and I turn off the nav lights. It's actually the nav lights that do it. Uh, turn off the nav lights and that's there. Push start one more time. It's gonna show me that my ballast is full, uh, which it's not gonna read correct because I don't have any sensors in there. So it's gonna show empty, but you just saw that they are full. Um, the one thing you give up by putting the 1100s in there is you don't have the, the sensors to tell you. But um, you can see right here, we have 427 hours. We're in five feet of, 5.8 feet of water, your volts, all that kind of stuff. And then over here you have your GPS, your music, and your uh, speed control system to set up your GPS cruise control. And then over here, you have your ballast set up, port belly, starboard, underwater lights, um, uh, courtesy lights, blower, nav lights, um, bilge, and then there's your blower, uh, that's your heater, and then your horn, and then your start, which it is a keyless ignition. So, the fact that I'm on the river, it's a little bit difficult to uh, keep this thing in place and run through all of the detailed pieces. That's why I do a walk around video uh, in the parking lot. So if you have any more questions about this 230, give Michael a call at N3Boatworks, 317-845-9253, uh, or email michael at N3Boatworks.com. And now watch some running video of this 230. Here's Brian driving the 2011 Victory Red 230 with the 450 six, point, or six liter 